Hello everybody and welcome to another Just Truck Sims special transport route truck video. As you can see today we are playing American Truck Simulator and we are going to be doing another special transport route. Just so that you know this is a, a very new profile that I'm on. I'm only level 3 at the moment. I've done enough to have unlocked the special transports but as you can see I've only got $32,000. I haven't even got enough to buy my own truck. So what I'm going to do is go into the job market, go for a quick job. I'm going to filter it just by special transport because that's all I'm showing you and I'm going to select a job as you see there's quite a few jobs available all from different locations all driving different trucks so I've done Seattle I don't feel like doing Fresno today I've done Provo and Eureka Port Angeles to Aberdeen I haven't done that yet but have I done the large res reservoir tank? I will check my checklist, which I've linked to in the description. No, I haven't done this yet. So I will tick these off. I'm going from Port Angeles in Washington. Uh, haven't been there to Aberdeen in Washington. I am taking a large reservoir tank. It's a 77,000 pound load if we have a look at it eh, this is it here we're driving a Freightliner Cascadia oh the new one and the route there you can see it's not too long 118 miles should take 2 hours 51 minutes if you see my other special transport route videos you know that it usually takes a lot longer than that you're limited to 40 miles an hour um, so I'm reckoning this is probably going to take closer to the four, maybe even four and a half hour mark in game time, of course. So let's take the job and see what it looks like. As you know, there are no mods on this profile. It is literally the base game and all of the DLC that SCS have released. Oh, it's 1.47 in the afternoon. I do usually actually change the time. But, you know, that's a, an okay time. It's going to remain daylight for the remainder of the journey. So you can see it's quite a long load. It doesn't look like it's particularly wide, which is a good thing. We're starting off at the docks here in Washington. We're in a nice bright red Cascadia here's our instructions you hopefully know them by now and you also know by now that I like to change me set up in the cab so it's F4 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 and I like to sit as far back as possible and swivel me head so that I can see both of the mirrors clearly and that looks Perfect, F4 again. Let's just have a look at the truck money and make sure that I actually go the right way this time. Because if you watch me last American Truck Simulator video, you will see that I almost failed before even leaving the company. So I need to go up there, past there, towards that Sea Horizon sign, I believe, and round the building on the road. Okay. I think that's the way that we need to go. So here we are, 10 to 2 in the afternoon. It says we'll get there for 20 to 5. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? We will see. Here we go. Looking good so far. Ooh, snaking around there. Yeah, it's definitely a long load, isn't it? Okay, and let's go back into this view so that I can see where I am. Okay, there's our 
escort vehicle. I wish that escort vehicle on the left was the one I was following, but beggars and choosers and all that jazz. Here we go. For Angeles. Straight through this red light. Oh, it's green now anyway. And immediately start going up a hill with the £77,000 load but the Cascadia is managing it pretty well we are accelerating okay so I'm just gonna come off the gas a bit terrible frame rate at the minute I'm only at 23 frames per second that's not fantastic it's a bit jerky however I am playing this on a uh, ultra wide no it's not an ultra wide i don't know what it is it's the next one up from hd the 2000 something i don't know it's in the description have a look maybe maybe if i put it in window mode and do it at 1080 it might look a bit better sometimes all you need to do is come out and that and see that's immediately spikes up to 39 frames 41 it's still not fantastic but it's a beautiful game you know and it's not really stuttering a great deal I think it looks pretty good past Motor City I think the the trees make the frame rate drop quite a bit the detail on the foliage Ooh, I was gonna clip that sign then We'll see if the if the frame rate increases once we get in a different terrain. But at the moment, I'm I'm quite happy with that. We're at 44 frames per second. Oops, I didn't do what I thought it was going to do. I haven't got this set up the way I thought it was. Never mind. I was trying to get my cruise control in, but there we go. So. Here we go. Watch these corners. Oh, it's quite a blind spot there on the left, isn't there? Can't see the road at all. Big pillar. In the in the cab escort vehicle movement in the middle of the road to warn oncoming vehicles that I might be straddling their lane see this is why it always takes longer than what the GPS says because here it says I can only do 40 miles an hour that road sign said 60 so the GPS thinks I'm going to be doing 60 when in fact I'm only doing 38 anyway so I'm doing a third less than what the speed limit is so it's going to take us longer to get to the destination but as I've said before about the special transport jobs, it's not about getting there quickly, it's about enjoying the ride, looking at that beautiful scenery, and also the technical aspects of it. This isn't yet yet average load. You know, you you've got to be careful of corners, you've got to be careful of objects like signs and street lamps other vehicles tight winding roads you know precision driving is the order of the day when you're doing a special transport route so you don't want to be putting your foot down and 
flying through town after town and city after city and beating that GPS, so to speak. This is for calm and calculated driving. And it's great fun. If you haven't checked out any of my other videos, please do. <laughs> Wait until the, you've seen the end of this one though. Don't go running away just yet. I also do the uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 Special Transport. I've got a series which I haven't updated for, uh, for a few weeks called Crazy Trucking where it is the total polar opposite of this. This is calm, careful, calculated. Crazy Trucking is just pedal to the metal. Let's see how quickly we can get around. I particularly enjoyed the race around Corsica. Check that out if you haven't seen it because even if I do say so myself, it is an epic video to watch. I've also started doing live streaming on YouTube. Ah, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure at all. Have a look at me streams, let me know what you think. Alright, let's go back to the exterior view. Oh, look, we're on the coast again. Nice big rock there. If you can tell me in the comments where we are, That'd be great. I've never been to America. So this is the only time I get to drive through it. But this looks like a pretty nice place to go. And if you live here, if you've been here, let me know. Is it as nice as what it looks? added what, 25 minutes to our arrival time got an hour and one minute to go oh I'm speeding up I'm speeding up I don't think you want to hit the escort vehicle because if you did yeah. it would be game over you don't want to do that currently flipped in between 49 and 59 frames per second so this is on um, American Truck Simulator 1.39 I haven't gone on to the 1.40 yet don't know how that's going to affect the frame rate but from all reports that I've heard, I've read and seen, 
It is visually stunning. So I can't wait to give that a go. Crossing the center line here. Make sure I move over a bit. I don't want to bash into oncoming traffic. I want to have a clean sheet. I'm being distracted by whatever that is in the water. What is that? Those posts sticking up. Right. Ignore that. Okay, look at the GPS. GPS tells me I'm 17 minutes away. Oh, I see the flag on the map. Looks like we are coming into Aberdeen. We're down to a third. There we go, Aberdeen. The Evergreen State. Five of 16 cities discovered. Go across this bridge. Looks like something out of the bridge constructor game that you get. Wow. Looking good. Okay, I've got a hard right coming up. Maybe I shouldn't be in 15th gear. Go, oh dear, that's a bit judder, isn't it? I'm down to 14 frames a second. Wow. Wonder why that is. Possibly my settings. I think I'll definitely try next time doing it at 1080 in windowed mode and see what difference that makes. I don't feel like my other American truck simulated sessions have been as bad as this. Not that it's bad, it's just, you know, it's not fantastic. Oh, look at the size of that beast. Okay. Looks like we're crossing a rail road. Get straight across there. And our escort vehicle is just going to cut us up in the middle of the road. Thanks for that, matey. No need to skip trailer parking because it is so easy. Going to here. Ah, it's already green, which I don't like. So I might have to skip it. Oh no, there we go. Ready for unloading. Let's see how we look. There we go, finish there. So, engine off, and brake on, do it properly. Joystick circle, decoupling. Excellent! Special transport missions done. Driven distance, 118 miles. Time taken, three hours 23. Oh, that's not so bad. Base reward, four thousand three hundred and fifty nine dollars and three hundred ninety nine xp proficiency bonus uh, level three hundred and twenty dollars high value cargo bonus six hundred and one dollars seventy one xp total is five thousand and eighty dollars four hundred ninety five xp and i have leveled up which is fantastic i am still a newbie but i'm now a level four newbie so let me assign myself some Points. I'm just going to go for a bit of uh, long distance, I think, and increase that one. 
and that's me done so let me know what you think please of this video please also watch the other videos leave a comment like this video subscribe to my channel please hit that notification bell i'm sure this is all the things that you're supposed to say and tell everyone about it because the more viewers that i get the better it is for me i really hope that you've enjoyed this video i hope you like this content please give me ideas of yours that you have for making it better and i'll see you on the next one thanks for watching bye